Hey guys, so I was recording Vampire. I had a whole spiel on how I've missed the game. It's been forever since I've played. How I healed nearly everyone in the main section where the Pembroke Hospital is. And how I did a oops the last time. And apparently Dorothy Crane is gone. Uh... After doing my spiel and coming here the first time, uh, the power on the block went out. So, all of that's gone. Didn't miss much except for that we healed a couple of people in my chapel and we talked to this lovely fellow who, if you recall, um, is mistreating his tenants. And uh, if they're female and they're pretty and they don't have money, um, he takes other form of payment. Um, our, our buddy old pal here, Jonathan, didn't like that, uh, as do I. Uh, so I was kind of glad I didn't have a hard time dealing with him. And let's just say, good. Um, oh, shoot, what was I going to say? Oh, so yeah, I'm not healing him. I'm pretty sure I made a cold medicine. Uh, I'm not giving it to him. So, yeah, something happened to Dorothy. She has um, bulbous infections on her for some reason. If I, oh, is that the one? Yeah, if I slash her, um, an infection comes up. Same thing if I shoot her, but for whatever reason, I can stab her with the spike. So. I wonder if I can do this one. Go away, shit. Can I go downstairs? Okay. Okay. Stay out of that stuff. Heal. Do it one more time. Okay, that's almost there. Can I do that? I cannot. One more time. Bite, 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 bite. Woo, let me go. Woo. Woo. Woo, 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 woo. I need to find those um, rats real quick. But I'm not doing any more fighting. Hopefully. Can I do one more? Shh. Okay. Okay. Um. Well. Damn, that took up everything. Let me change back real quick. Um. My weapons because I prefer this and this. Okay. So. What was that? Oh! Oh, dang it, it's just dust mote. I thought it was a... Okay, so I'm seeing all the blood here, but I'm not seeing any... Oh, fuck! No! Small key. Yes! It's locked, all right. Oh, I have to run for cold. I got so much stuff. Um, I don't know what I just got. Blood diary, shelter key, uh, foundry, uh, warehouse, morgue, morgue underground. There's two? 
Um, key to the doctor's office, because I said Pembroke's Hospital doctor's office is my key. Um, I, I don't know. Swimber cordial, swimber cordial with this ingredient. Um, can be recycled, that's, that's silly. Um, but a nurse crane, foundry, I've already been there. I think. The heck? I feel like Zivrin in Dragon Age right now. I just got a key, but which key? Just a like small key. Son of a bitch. Okay, I can knock him out. Oh, wait, which one is it? I can't knock him out. Damn it. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, good. Good. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Why was I worried? I shouldn't have been worried. I'm getting a lot of watery blood samples too. Okay, awesome. Nothing else here. This place is a shite hole. Okay, so now we know what happened to Dorothy Crane. Somehow she became a monster. And that was the thing that was there. So go, go, go away. Um, I was trying to find, I need the cure for something and I haven't been able to find it. Um, I think a migraine. Cause I like this guy, headache. I don't have that cure. Um, yes, I made a joke before. I was like, oh, just take an Advil. Uh, no, that's not the thing. Let's go this way. Who is you? Oh, you asshole. Oh, are you, you're the, you're not the merchant. This way. Uh, no, this way, third time's a charm. I meant to go this way. I don't want to hear it. I feel like we've already we witnessed this. We even used to be neighbors for Christ's sake. I prefer not to give you another beating, Baron. The doctor is healthy. Um, where is our lovely lady of the night? Fatigue. Well, of course she would be fatigued. Change your mind, Mr. Reed. I did not. Thank you very much. What do you know about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Two girls I know went to the dispensary yesterday. Nobody has seen them since. I hear they became skull. In case bad things happen. They already have. Oh. Lyndon Darby claims he will expose the crisis of Whitechapel to all of London. Do you Order? believe him? I believe Clayton's courage will erode with time. Until he finally leaves Whitechapel to start another fight somewhere else. Um, what is skepticism? Why this skepticism? How can you speak about starvation if you've never been hungry? True, true. Or about poverty or anything else you have never suffered from? You can read it from their point of view. I'm talking from experience. I've seen your type come here to get a good fuck in a cheap room or a dark alley before going back to their fancy houses in the West End. Oof. Harsh. What? She would know. And there's nothing there. Goodbye, miss. Oh no! I needed to give you, um... Good evening, Christina. Change your mind, Mr. Reed? Not from the second that I saw you. Do you need any assistance, Miss Popper? It depends on the price of your medicine. I am shocked that you would think I am that sort of man. Forgive my suspicions. She doesn't I'm know so us. I'm so used to liars with good manners. Thank you, sir. Um, Goodbye, bye. Miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. Everyone is so freaking fatigued here. Good evening, Doctor. Can I help you? Do you need assistance? That would be nice of you, Doctor. 
Who knows what I may have caught during my investigation? Oh, really? If you persist in investigating the most pox-ridden boroughs of London, you must accept the risks. Thank you, sir. That is true. Have you any news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? It appears the dispensary is now a major source of contagion in Whitechapel. Mm -hmm. Someone should do something about it, but no one cares. I've already cleaned it out, so you're welcome. Goodbye, Mr. Dunn. You're welcome. Farewell. Who else has ills? Um, I can give you that. Ah, uh, hell no. I don't have that. Right? I don't have that. No, this one. I do have the cure for her headache. Did I just get that? Anemia, fatigue, cold. Uh, I do not feel like resting at this particular moment. Thank you very much. Oh, why all these creepy sounds? Why all the creepy sounds? That's the that's the no no zone. Oh, and you're open now. Hi, Camilla. Hi. Hello again, miss. How are you? Still not talking to us? Okay, I understand. Very well. Goodbye, then. You can use non-verbal communication to engage with us. I know this because it's my job. A letter. Editor refusal letter. Sucklefan Publishing um, Limited. Lavender Court, Camden Street, London. Dear Mr. Nithercott, thank you for sending your book of poems, Songs from the Defeated City, which we found as interesting and profound as we told you the first time we received it. <laughs> Alas, in the terrible times our country is currently facing, you must understand that such title that such title would be totally inappropriate for any publication. Sure, we'll change that. Thus, since you still refuse to change your title and demand the full publication and none of your work, I'm sorry to announce that you, uh, to announce you that Psychofan Publishing uh, chooses a second option. With kindest regards, A.G. Morris. Um, I mean, it's interesting. Oh, you two poems. Hello, Mr. Nethercott. I would like to read your book of good evening, poems. Mr. Nethercott. And good evening to you too, my good sir. Can I be of any help? You are creepy as sin. Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Not at all, sir. What are your thoughts on the terrible situation in this city? Terrible, you say? No. Of course, the death of so many innocents is so a tragedy. But the scourge has not been all bad for the city. Oh, no, sir. What are you talking about? Um... Remember London before the flu? Noisy, cacophonic quiet nowhere to be found and now listen to this oddly peaceful silence his lips aren't moving a lot and it's bothering me their eyes in a retracted state and it's really bothering me. peaceful silence and only stressful disease quite a unique point of view yes the enjoyable silence of the grave you have a unique perspective on the situation mother nature's Most way of correcting fail to understand my perspective i don't blame them but how could I call myself a poet if I veiled my feelings? I'll write it down. May I ask what you're doing at this hour of night, sir? Do you live here? Not at all. I'm just enjoying the pleasure of a quiet walk. Though night talks are always preferable, if you ask me. Especially with strangers. Just weird, talking to at night with strangers. But are you not afraid of the epidemic? Oh, why should I? I see some equity in the Spanish flu. Uh, no flesh should be saved, say the scriptures. Good or evil, rich or poor, all are equal in the eyes of the flu. If you say so. But as a physician in a time of epidemic, I must caution you to avoid unnecessary exposure, sir. Thank you, Doctor. But we both know the seeker of truth has to go boldly where the weak dare not. I see his point of view as bad as uh, epidemics are, like uh, the plague, the bubonic plague. It 
does do a lot to curtail the amount of people. I see it. I don't like it, but I do see it. Are you aware that your life could be in danger in this part of town? But this is where I must be to feel the real beat of the city. I had to come, see it for myself, alone. I understand your need for solitude, but it's not safe around here. I don't care. I don't have many friends, Doctor, and my family despises me. If some misfortune came upon you, who would be here to help you? Well, you for a start, my dear Doctor. There's a lot of talking in this game. Oh gosh. Did you oh know gosh. The Florist is a member <sighs> of a secret society. No, I didn't. But I thank you for this information, sir. For it only enriches the mystery surrounding the precious Camellia. Oh, you are creepy. Are you not curious? Is there not more you wish to know? That girl has not an ounce of malice in her. What How else do you know that? Mean? It's certain to be for the benefit of most, if not all. I fear you are a hopeless romantic, Mr. Nethercourt. Guilty as charged, Dr. Reed. Just because she's mute doesn't mean she is evil. You don't really make a living from your scribblings, do you, Richard? No, sir, I don't. I work so hard. I put all my time, my energy, my devotion into the precise carving of words. That's weird. When she was younger, my mother was a painter and a poet. She told me many times how poor her artist friends were and how she helped them. My parents pay for my rent, my food, and my clothes. All I have to give them in return is lies they do not believe. You seem embarrassed. Someday I hoped you should be, but not first really. publication to my parents. Until He's just trying day, to make it by. I'll remain the failure of a son they have to support. They don't have to support you. Tell me, Mr. Nethercott, why seek inspiration in Whitechapel? The place is not beautiful per se, but uh, how to explain it? Stirring and challenging. Do you not think it a little morbid? On the contrary, sir. Whitechapel is full of life, full of beauty. Just like Don't say it. The oh gosh. Camellia. What can you tell me? Oh gosh. Camellia? Not much. And that's the beauty of it. She can't speak, you know. She's a locked mystery who exhales kindness and sweetness. And have you ever tried to learn more about her? Where she lives? How she survives? Whom she may know? Maybe I prefer she remains an enigma. Reality can be so dull, don't you think? But that's not life. Perhaps you're just afraid to find out the truth about your news. One day, perhaps, I'll ask her to come with me. But, ah, oh, will she still be my wild flower of Whitechapel if she moves uptown? Oh, you are just perverted. In what way, exactly? The struggle by gaslight, the barren smiles and the added hunger under the rain. If you say so. Such vibrant antagonism and vivid paradox, the stripped humanity... Oh, I'm just getting annoyed by him now. Street. Vivid, of course, yes. And what about the poignant distress? Oh yes, the poignant distress. You see what I mean, don't you? That's what I want to write about. And that's what Whitechapel is made of. I feel like I'm getting an echo. Do I not have something off? Oh, is this on? Hmm. All right, so we got everything. I'll leave you alone, sir. Um. Let's see. Oh, and I'm gonna feel bad because then it's gonna be all echoey. Hello again, it's gonna be echoey the whole time. Tell me about Richard Nithercott. I understand. He Dude, she can't speak. Fond of you, Camellia. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Goodbye then. No, I don't hear it. I don't know. It's just weird. That one part echoed, and that was kind of annoying. 
Okay, so there's nothing else over here. Um, this looks like a good place. Um, how long? Alright, not that long. I feel bad because I have to get going soon. Um... No, I'm going to do a little bit more, um, I'm meeting my friend, I haven't seen her in a long time, I'm meeting her for dinner. We're going to Texas Roadhouse, I love Texas Roadhouse, it's so good. Oh, I can't zip it to do da, damn it. Okay, there's no point, what is this, can I go here? I cannot enter. Nope. Okay. Um, there was something else over here that was also like, hey, hey, oh, oh, this one. Did I find everyone? Probably not. Um, oh, I didn't give you your medicine. Damn. All right. Oh my gosh, and he walks a little slow. Uh. Oh, don't, evening, don't speak too much. And good evening to you too. Oh no. Good sir. Can I be of any help? Oh, you are. Do annoying. you need medical attention, sir? It may be wise to let you prescribe me something. I don't feel like I should. I understand your appetite for words and macabre beauty, sir. It's a fun word, macabre. The nutrition of my mind is more important than my physical health. Yeah, that'll deteriorate your mind. Your concern, sir. Oh, excuse me. I'll leave you alone, sir. Yes, please do. Let's go. Come on, Jonathan. Let's up. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, here we go. Okie dokie. I'm afraid to go back to the hospital and find out what happened there. Um. I I do I am perturbed by. Well, they're both healthy. Who do I need to find? I need Benjamin. I wish I could do like a, a find this person. I need to find him, and that's it for a bloody migraine. Joe and Barrett. I'm heading out of Whitechapel. This is so good. Oh, goodies. Well, that's good though. Hey, who's this? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Wrong way. Right? Oh, I'm still in my chapel though. Oh, this is a bad, bad zone. Where the f This is all white chapel. What's this? Can I go there? No. No, go. Ah, okay. Fine, well, we'll get some action at any rate. Eh. This one's mine. Really? I am no one's property, good sir. You Rude! Shit! Get it, stop with your. That was very rude. Cool. All right, let's see. Give me, give me your goodies. Ah, uh, Danku. And 
Is that a skull? It is a skull. Do you have goodies? You do have goodies. Thank you. And goodies. Oh my gosh. So many goodies. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh, it's a large beast. Do I want to go in here? Do I want to do it? Do I want to do it? Do I want to do it? <laughs> I was not expecting that. Hi. Oh. See, I keep hitting the R1 button, and I met the boom. I can't jump down. Lovely. Wish I had a jump feature. Oh, I shouldn't be up here. Bye bye. send of my chapel Th go this way thank you okay and get get thank you I hear skull I do not see skull okay fine ah uh, around the thingy thank you This one. Now where am I? Still in Whitechapel. Okay. Is that Dorothy Crane's place? It is Dorothy Crane's place. What's down here? Are we coming out of Whitechapel? We are heading out of Whitechapel. Oh. Oh, hi. Um, little baby Prewin. All right, I need to find this guy, not him. Hi, baby. That's my cat, my little baby kitty cat at the door. Darius Petrescu already did that. Uh, no. Has it? Wonderful. More blood. Do I need? But no, no. Can I? I have this thirst for blood. We know that already. We're playing the game. Am I not going to be able to get through this way? Probably not, and that's fine. I hear Scully Scott. No, it's just it's locked. locked all right. It won't open from this side. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Okay. Getting a lot of gear. Can we see over on that side? No. Is there my bobber here? I do not see a hideout, but usually there's... Oh, oh, oh shit, that's not what I wanted. This is despicable. 
Albert. Ugh, filthy. Um. Now that's leading. I cannot out. This is the no no zone. There's someone here. I can't wait. No, this brings me. Oh, I guess we're not, not that close. I thought this was the one that brings me back out to the hospital. Wasn't I just over here? I just saw someone walk down. Ah! I was just uh. Okay, I'm sorry if this is annoying and I'm doing it in this mode. But I cannot seem this person where I was just all through here oh wait Pre oh that's my, that's showing, showing my hideout Okay, you're definitely not over there. Whoops. Um, and there's nothing that way. Okay, well, I can find him. And I was already in there. I know there's nothing in there. And there's nothing that way. Um... That's probably locked off. I remember being locked. Oh, dang it. I don't know where you could be. Okay, well, you know what? I will find you later. What time? Oh, no. I have to get going. Okay, I do want to do a little bit of storyline for this one. Um, it's only been about a half hour recording, especially if I'm cutting stuff. Oh, my gosh. Why are you yelling? Everyone's yelling. I got the scalds. In the game, I have my cat right outside the door. Probably wants cuddles because I didn't get a chance to cuddle with him yet. Oy, okay. So I will come back. I'm going to leave it here. And I'm not going to rest or evolve, but I will um, come back. We will finish... Um, we'll do this over here. Oh, wait, this is Whitechapel here, so maybe we can get... Okay, um, so we'll figure out what's going on over here with Dr. Swansea. And nothing else seems to have happened down anywhere else, so fantastic. And then we will do... Lovely! So, I am glad that I decided to quit recording. So, <laughs> right. And I'm going to be probably here to save. Um, if I go back a little bit, not the end of the world. Hopefully, it saved somewhere along the way. I wasn't really paying attention. Checking the error says, fun times, power outage, errors. It's going to be a great night. 
I can just tell. It's only Thursday. Lovely. Okay. How about none of that? Fantastic. Okay. So don't forget to like um, and subscribe if you enjoy. Make comments if you would like to see other things. Uh, just your thoughts on everything. Hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.